I'm a vampire. She's a vampire. Kelly's fucking rad. You know, I've been reading a couple of these comments and then you fucked them. You oh, know? don't do that. Well, they want to know if we're zombies or vampires. What? Yeah. They think because we eat the whole body that we're not fucking vampires. We're more like zombies. What? And it's I blame Hollywood. Because Hollywood shows you guys a vampire who's starving and takes a couple of bites out of a neck and then all of a sudden he's good. Yeah. It's bullshit. Total bullshit. You eat There's the whole no way. goddamn thing. Why would you, like, so if you're sitting down at Thanksgiving dinner, Right? And you put everything on your plate. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And what you're telling me, you're going to have a couple of bites of mashed potatoes. And, and then just put everything away. Oh, no. Or better yet, just the gravy. Yeah. Just the gravy. Come on. Yeah. Come on. There's a whole body there. Why wouldn't you eat it? Don't forget when the potato famine happened, there was also a shortage of people. That's right. So we got to learn what... We got to eat everything. Yeah. You everything. Got, you got to use every single piece of the human body. Plus zombies, I mean, what the hell is a zombie? I mean, what do they do? They eat brains, and that's about it, you yeah. know? Yeah, but zombies don't. They don't exist. No, they don't. They don't at all. No. Yeah. But if they did exist... Right, let's say they did. We would have nothing to do with them. No! They were a lower class of supernatural. It's... It's kind of true. The it's best not... thing they were good for was, like, making eggs, but then they started to fuck that shit up, you know? <laughs> That was it. We used to have a zombie mate. I mean, I would have had a zombie mate if I believed We didn't have a zombie mate. Now. No, zombies don't exist. You know. But when their heads start to fall off and they decay, it's just yeah, a pain it's in the just, ass. It's like, it's... And you can't eat them. You can't eat a zombie. No. Uh-uh. Oh, God, that would be so gross. It's like eating burnt, you know, um, pubic hair, you know? It Ooh, just does I was not gonna say taste toast, good. but yeah, pubic hair. Yeah, toast tastes a lot better than pubic hair. Well... The thing is, it's like, you know, listen, everybody deserves a chance to live, right? Everybody deserves a shot. Chance to live forever? Zombies? Or more than once. Or more than once. Zombies, I, you know, why? It's kind of one of those questions, like, when you die and you're going to, like, I'm going to ask God about, like, spiders. Like, what's the deal with spiders? Um, I'm going to ask about what happened to my hamster when I was a kid. And I'm going to ask about why there are zombies. Not that there are zombies. They're not zombies. Zombies don't exist. Hey, do I gotta tell you something about your hamster? I feel really bad, and I feel... It's, I carried this guilt with me for a long time. But, you know, Chucky, he, um, he didn't die like we said he did. He didn't get run over by a car. Unfortunately, your mother was cleaning this cage, and she put the cage in the bathroom. I had no idea that he was there. And I was like a little drunk, and I sat down to relieve myself, one and two. And I, I thought I was grabbing the toilet paper, but I, I, I guess I grabbed him. But I didn't realize it until, well, until he was dead. I mean, he, he suffocated from my shit. And we didn't want to tell you because it's a horrible way to die. But I feel like you're older now, and you should know that I killed your, I killed your hamster with my shit. And I did not mean to do that. Dad, you did the same thing to Brandon two years later. It happened with my hamster and you didn't learn your lesson? Well, I deal with Brandon because I sort of liked how the hamster felt. <gasps> I'm a vampire. She's a vampire. Kelly's fucking rad. Yeah. Look at those chocolates. You wiped your ass with my hamster. It's an honest mistake. Shut up!